One mom named Nicole recently made headlines for making the hardest decision of her life. According to CBS News, Nicole made the decision to turn her 17-year-old son into police after she found his journal, which allegedly detailed a plot to attack his high school. Nicole, who says her son suffers from depression, said the journal detailed plans to enter the school on the anniversary of the Columbine massacre and use multiple firearms and pipe bombs to inflict as much damage as possible. Nicole said her son claimed his journal was just creative writing and despite wrestling with her decision, says she believes her son is safer in jail than in school at the moment. Police told CBS wow. News, you gonna applaud? Police told CBS News that they found what Nicole did to be extremely courageous and that they're grateful for her sounding the alarm. Ladies, can you imagine having to make this type of a decision? No, I'm going straight no. to the moms, yeah. like. No, I mean, that's something that you hope you never, you know, have to imagine or experience. Encounter. I mean, as a mom, you spend your whole life trying to protect your son from the world, and now you've got to protect the world from your son, mm. you know? So it's like a complete oxymoron, and I'm sure she was just, like, going through so many decisions, like, okay, well, if I say something, I'll be able to save everybody. Because usually in these type of instances, the police usually kill the suspect or the suspect ends up killing themselves. And in this situation, the child was uh, suffering from depression. So I applaud that mom for doing that because yes. I know that would have been a really hard decision. Yeah, but I would have done it. Yeah, what a very, very hard thing to do. I mean, mm -hmm. you love your baby. Yeah. yeah. And all you want is the best for your baby, but when your baby makes a, could be making a decision that could harm someone, imagine if she didn't. Yeah. And, and that's the thing that she had to do. What is the greater good? Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have to weigh the greater good for your own kid. Yeah. yeah. And it was safer for him to be in jail mm -hmm. yeah. than to, mm -hmm. to harm or hurt another human being, yeah. get himself harmed, or sh at least her baby is alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me, whew, I would have to make that decision. Yeah. yeah. I would have to 100%. agree that I, I couldn't do anything else. Yeah. yeah. We're not moms, but what are your thoughts on it? Like, this makes me think, okay, so I had this conversation with my friends one time, right? And my friends were saying, like, if you had to choose between love and loyalty, which would you choose? Mm -hmm. And for me, I was like, I don't really care if you're not loyal to me because I'm not gonna love you, but love is important to me. Love is everything. And almost everybody battled me saying, no, loyalty is a lot harder to find. Like love, you can fall out of love. So it's not, mm -hmm. it's not permanent, it's conditional. Yep. Right. But then I thought about a situation like this where you had to turn in somebody you loved, not because you were loyal, but because you loved the safety of what everybody has to deal with yeah. in this situation if you keep them. And this is exactly that situation. This mother could have been loyal to her son and said, this is, this is my son, I'm not gonna turn him in. Like, I'm gonna hide him and, and protect him or try to keep him from the world or whatever. But no, she knew love, and that's God's love, when you have oh. to make that deciding decision to yeah. keep everybody safe. Yeah. Like, I couldn't live with the aftermath that. if I didn't say anything. Do that. you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I always think and what could possibly happen? of a child who does this kind of stuff because, like I said, either they are shot or they, you know, commit suicide themselves. The parent is left to deal with not only losing their child, but what their child did. They yeah, that's right. I'm sure there's some self-blame there that's like, what did I do wrong? wrong? Or yeah. what did I Why did they see? turn out this way? Yeah. Absolutely. If any, also, if anybody knows a family member or knows anybody who's dealing with depression, Man, that'll send you into a spiral of thinking and doing things you, I, I mean, it, it's, it's something to keep very close to you. So I have family members that are suffering from depression and I have to keep, keep a close eye on them to make sure that yeah. they don't hurt themselves. So we just, get, again, gotta kin together, hold each other closer, and check in. So I applaud this mom for that.